Chef Chef Boy it says first time viewer. What's up? Thanks for joining. It's awesome whenever uh, people join my stream and they say how they watch me on YouTube and like then that they're finally tuning into the stream. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Cancel Rusty right now. Holy shit, hold up. I think this is the first time I'm facing a drunken master. I need a Oh that's annoying, but can't jump on him when he's fucking party. What the hell? Okay. What the fuck is that? Low tier cabal says you think like you might have lost on purpose. Yo, okay, that was cool. Um, stop. That was really cool though. I like that. That was sick. So he's like invincible. What the fuck? No, no. I knew he was gonna do something like that. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah. This guy says he thinks Viking might have lost on purpose. What's funny is um. Okay, none of that. Does he puke during one of my combos? That would be kind of broke. What the fuck is that? Yeah, Lotier Cabal was saying he might have like purposely lost, but like I don't think anyone would ever purposely lose a tournament match. Like what's funny is like my girlfriend was actually here and we were um watching it and she's like, oh maybe he lost like to just like make the kid happy. I'm like, no. No one loses to make a kid happy. Like if you're gonna win in tournament you gotta earn that shit, so. Still strong, he earned that shit. Oh my god, was that punishable? Okay. Stop. Yeah, you're dead. Aw, oh, he was supposed to block that. Alright. Crazy Bar Chaco, what up? Thanks for joining. Dark Rye, you almost at 10k? Yeah, man, I'm getting there. I need like another 500 ish. No one knew how old Killtron was. And, okay, that's kind of, it's kind of sad. Like, no one knew how old Killtron was or how old Killtron. I mean, how old he was or whether or not Killtron's a guy or girl. A lot of people were very confused about that. I was very confused about that. Because I, at first, I'm like, I, I thought Killtron is a dude. Like, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, Killtron's like a little kid. Like, like a little 14-year-old kid, right? That, that's what I thought. And, like, because I, I met Killtron, like, at a... I think I saw him at, like, a couple other tournaments. I saw him, like, at two other tournaments I went to. Uh, he was at Winter Brawl. And he was at another tournament, but I don't remember which one. Um... Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Killtron was at a, a few tournaments, and um, I think just the way his hair was made people think he was a girl, because he had like chopsticks in his hair, and like, maybe, maybe it's a girl. And then some people were saying he's 10, I was like, oh, I didn't know that, but I believe it. And then apparently he's 17, and I'm like, oh, I didn't know that, I don't really believe it, but he said it, so I'm not gonna deny him his age. Oh my god, stop. This dude is like all over the place. It's kinda cool. Oh my god, that guy like spats out of it. What the fuck? Stop. God. Ah, ah. 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 No, I don't want to punish that shit. But yeah, I I it's too bad that Killtron ended up not even making it out of the pool. Cause like that would have been cool. But yeah, like he was dropping quite a bit of those overhead punches though, like, you know, but with time I'm sure, like, he'll get better. Good. <laughs> Yo, he torpedoed into my fucking bug. That's funny. Oh, Carmine says he's the best girl on MKX. Yeah, definitely Ayase Chaya, or as I should say, Charlotte. Best. Best best girl on it that plays MK free. I don't think there's anyone better. And if there is, I have to say so. Does your girlfriend play MKX? Not really. Round one. Fight. Fight. Whoa. 
guys drinking in front of my face and thinks I'm not gonna do anything about it. Hold up. Ouch. What a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. No. Ow. Ah. Fuck off. What the? What the? Oh my god. This character is fucking out. That's such a shitty little reset. No. Round two. Fight! Doesn't go far. Stop! Fuck! Alright, oh no. I thought he, I think he was close to puking there, but he just reloaded on that, uh, fucking. He's gonna, he's gonna puke soon. Oh no, he reloaded. Alright, fucking. Oh my god, stop. Oh. So is it like glowing when he's drunk? Or something? Not sure how that works. I think his drunkenness has worn off. But he doesn't puke because I was too busy comboing him. Pretty sure that's what's going on there. Devora wins. <clears throat> Round uh, Detroit Legend says, "What do you think of Forever King?" Cyrax? It was not Forever King, it was Forever King Jr. I actually thought his Cyrax was pretty bad, I'm not even gonna lie. He was dropping like everything, man. Forever King Jr. What's funny is like, I think Forever King Jr. is an amazing player. Like, he knows how to play a lot of characters at a really high level. So like, I'm actually surprised that I was expecting a lot more from the Cyrax, to be honest. I thought he was gonna be getting those punishes and getting the, the combos, but like, I saw him drop quite a bit of stuff. I saw him not punish quite a bit of stuff. Oh my god, I'm getting hit by this fucking fart. Um, so I was actually pretty kind of underwhelmed with um, Forever King Jr.'s Cyrax. I think um, LL, it's not cool, J played a lot better. And I, I was actually really surprised that um, Jr. went Cyrax against Dragonfire Liu Kang. Because I would feel like Cyrax would have a tough time against that. Like, Dragonfire has some of the best pressure in the game. Dragonfire has some of the best pressure in the game, and on top of that, like, he can actually zone Cyrax and prevent him from starting his game, so, like, I, I thought it was a really interesting pick from Junior, because, like, Junior can play so many other characters. So, but the thing is, he still ended up winning, so. I don't know, I, I was actually kind of, like, I was really surprised with Merc, like, the dude was dropping a lot of cancels, like, that was not... Very good play from Merc. But if you grab him and EX grabs to reset him, he'll throw up. Oh, yo, that's so smart! But, like, I'd have to, like, really time that, though. Like, I'd really have to, like, know he's about to do it. But, yo, that'd be sick. Like, if someone actually did that, and then they're like, Oh, yo, he's gonna, about to, he's gonna do that, I'm gonna just grab reset and, like, let him puke and get free damage. Dude, that, that was smart as fuck. Yo, who, who said that? Imi imitate? Yo, imitate. That, that's smart shit. I think that would work too. I think that would work. I'm just gonna X-ray him though. Okay. Have any advice on leveling up for an average player? Says Kinetic Sanic. Um... Like, when you're an average player, obviously, like, don't drop combos like that's like that's like you know common sense shit don't drop combos if you're if you're not com if you if you're like especially like in a tournament setting don't ever go for a combo you you're not confident that you're gonna hit like 100 percent of the time if you think you might drop it don't don't do it like don't straight up just don't do it if you think you're gonna drop it don't do it just do the shit that you know is gonna always work and then practice the stuff that you that you might not hit until you will hit it you know like Oh, this connection is getting kind of bad. 
So like that's like obvious shit. Like don't don't drop your fucking power. And I'm getting hit by this fucking fart. Oh no. Oh no, that's the low. Other than that, um See like the thing is like a lot of things about what what separates a top player from like the rest is their ability to like either make what what why would he load up on this fucking thing? Is the ability to like make the reads and be able to adapt and like you know control space and shit like all that kind of stuff is like super important like you really have to like it's kind of hard for me to say like what's like the main thing to focus on because like there's like a, a lot of different things like I would just say like make sure you practice a lot make sure you know matchups like really well <clears throat> I'm just getting caught by this stupid thing like and like so a lot of times the good thing to do is like is to look at your losses like sometimes people don't like to look at like matches that they lose but if you look at your losses and you're able to to like analyze it and see where you went wrong like you look at it and you're just like oh, okay like that's what i fucked up on then you can use that to improve i feel like looking at your losses is something that's like it really helps you as a player like i know when i first started playing in tournaments and stuff, I would always rewatch the streams and I would rewatch re every single match. Like, I would rewatch, like, all my wins, all my losses. In my wins, I would see, like, what I did right and where I could improve. And then where I lost, I would see where I, I, I could improve. And, like, like sometimes, and it's also your, your mindset is, like, a big thing as well about it. Like, it, if you, if you're going in with a mindset or like, oh yo, yeah, I just, I guessed wrong. Like, I lost because I guessed wrong. I lost because the game's stupid. Well, then you're not really going to level up. You have to think, well, you guessed wrong, yeah, but like, how did you get put in that situation? Like, what happened in the neutral game, right? To cause you to guess wrong. Because like, a lot of it comes down to the neutral game. A lot of it comes down to like, who is controlling that space better and who's like you know doing the neutral game better and like who's opening who up you know like that's what a lot of it comes down to so like your mind says that one thing but yeah look at your losses um try to play with good players don't just play players that you're always gonna like beat really easily with no with no like trying involved try to play good players that's another thing. Play in like online tournaments, if there's online tournaments, that helps. So, there's some tips. <laughs> if anything else comes to mind, I'll say it. But that's like, the gist of it, I think. Uh, conversions are important as well. Make sure you're converting every hit. <clears throat> Don't leave any damage on the table, you know? It really annoys me when I see people get like, if, if I ever see someone play my character, and they do something dumb. It kind of annoys me. I'm just like, don't don't leave damage on the table. Don't like hit someone and then like just let them drop. You know, like get that full damage. And like, oh my god, and like punishes. That's another thing, guys. Work on your punishes. Make sure like you can punish stuff. I saw what was it? I saw um, Sundula. He was using Total Con. He was doing a mirror with someone. I don't remember who it was. It was Peen. I know he did a mirror with Peanut, and he did a mirror with someone else. And when he did the mirror, like these guys were like doing the same fucking strings that are like negative, and like they could punish it, but they just they didn't know how. Like they didn't even know what their punish timings were. I'm just like, bro, like come on, don't let this guy just keep on doing the same shit, and like you're not punishing him for it. Shit. Hey, Dr. Love 2K, what's up? Thanks for joining. Uh, Fields Xavier says, when can I mop you with my Devora? Huh, never. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So, that was a really long answer for your question. Sanix. Hopefully that was enough for you. Oh, oh. Okay, he's gonna go for that overhead. Oh, they, oh, what? You can do a low into it too? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure that's fair. Overhead low into this little fucking part setup. Fuck off.
Oh shit. Okay. Holy lag. Wow, this ping though. Ah. Why are you gonna drink though? Oh well I guess you can like build some bar. Pretty sure so you again. Drink and build some bar. Round two. Fight. What the fuck? Like if there's a one of those situations where you gotta maximize that damage, you know. Don't let don't don't get a straight hit like that with Devora and not convert. Then you're doing something wrong. I wish this connection was better. Holy shit. Oh. Fuck. anti-air as well, I think. Just don't let people get away with jumping when you have an answer for it. Um, Dr. Love says he just wondering, I'm a Cyrax Prist? What is a Cyrax Prist? And what do I think about him? Right now, I haven't fought a Cyrax to make me feel like he's really a threat. Like, I can see, okay, I can see why Cyrax would be good. Like, Cyrax, this character, he gets like 40% I can see, like, in the future, when players level up, Cyrax is definitely going to be an issue. Because, like, this character, he can do... Ah, shit. Oh, no! Fuck me. Yeah, Cyrax, like, he gets, like, 40% meterless into, like, really good setups. To, like, do another 40% meterless. So, like, you really can't let the character touch you. So, when people get to that point with him, then, yeah, he's definitely going to be an issue. But right now, the thing is, a lot of people just keep on dropping their fucking shit. Like, they drop their combos, or they don't know, like, how to play the neutral with them yet. So, like, they're not really making him a threat. And that's, like, that's the thing about him. Like, this guy should definitely stop me from doing that. Fuck. That was a really close game. Devora. Wins. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, low tier cabal. Frame data is important. Um, and I think I did talk about the neutral. Like, both of that's really important. <clears throat> like, frame data. Like, knowing your the frames of your moves, like, how negative you are, or, like, how fast your stuff is, or, like, what's best for, like, punishing things, and, like, learning what's punishable from your opponent and stuff. Like, that's all very important stuff. There's a lot of things that go into, like, being a high level player. Alright, interesting. Ow. Nice combo. Stop. Shit. Oh! Motherfucker. Ow, 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 ow. Holy mother. I'm not gonna go on S Xbox Dark Cry. Oh, to play Mustard? Maybe. Maybe I'd go on Xbox to play Mustard. There you go. There you go. Okay. No! Oh, I was trying to stay away from the fucking fart cloud. No. Stop it. There you go. Fur please, what's up? When can I mop you with my divorce? Black. I'll say that. Are you guys the same person? Oh, boy. Oh, that was a- oh, that was a reset? God damn it. Oh. 
Oh, oh, this guy's pressure is off the fucking chart. Oh my god, holy shit. Detroit Legends says, have you played Trey Pound? I don't think I've played Trey Pound. Now I think about it. Devora wins. Does anyone know if White Boy made it out of his pool? Because I know he lost to Merc. He lost to Merc. I know Merc lost to. Wait, did Merc lose to someone? Yeah, didn't Merc lose to. Oh, Merc lost to Forever King Jr. Does that mean White Boy didn't make it out of his pool? He might have lost to Merc twice. I want to beat him in the run back. But yeah, if you want to get better, another thing is anti airs. Work on your anti air game. Because a lot of people are like, a lot. A big thing that separates like top level players from lower level players is like stopping people from jumping. Because lower level players, they kind of just like let you jump at them and then apply pressure. But top level level players, a lot of times they don't let you do that shit. Like, if you want to jump at me, you're gonna get hit. Type of shit. Damn. Lost the lost the merc twice. GG. Devora wins. Round one, fight! And then you can focus on things like whip punishing. Whip punishing is a big thing as well, like doing things to like make your opponent press a button, and then you punish them for trying to press a button. Or like trip guarding is when your opponent um, does a jump in attack and they, they and misses, and then you hit them in their recovery frames. That's another big thing. Oh, oh, that's one hammer. Drink it. Fuck. That is such a good, like, trade. Stop, don't slow. Don't slow. Oh no, come on. How is the 6 frame down 1 that's negative 2 fair? Please explain it. It's not. A 6 frame down 1 that's negative 2 is too good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I didn't know I can do that. I just learned something. Hold up. Fuck. Dropping that too many times. Oh shit. There we go. Alright, pretty flaco. GG's. Here's some. Here's some mops. Devora wins. 